Where are we? I I think we're in the new spotlight video. So that means a new season, right? I think so. Who's in it? I think it's Miss Peluso. Oh, and Miss Peely Pickett. Yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> spotlight! <laughs> Mrs. Fioli Pickett, and I'd like to introduce our friends Teddy and our little friend over here, Dana, and we're just having a little picnic. The question for you today is, uh, who or what has inspired you to become a teacher? Well, that's an easy question. I, When I was in fourth grade, I had my best friend, and her mother was a kindergarten teacher. And I used to go over her house all the time, and we used to correct papers, and that inspired me to become a teacher because I loved correcting page, papers and being all important. How long have you been teaching for? I have been teaching for 24 years total, but 20 years was in third grade, and the last four years have been in kindergarten, as you can see. What have you learned from being a teacher? A lot. Patience, love, laughter, um, cooperation, all those wonderful things that we all need to be a good, solid teacher. What do you feel is the best thing for being a teacher? The kids. My babies. <laughs> I love them. I'm strict, but I love them. I hug them. I kiss them. I pull their teeth. I'm a dentist. I do anything they need for me to do for them. So I love them. Uh, do you have any kids? And if so, how old are they? I do. I have one daughter. Her name is Chloe. She goes to the CGS, and she's in seventh grade and she's a cheerleader. Lucky me. What would students or viewers be surprised to know about you? Oh, I'm very clean, and I vacuum my house twice a day. That's a lot of vacuuming. The whole entire house gets vacuumed every day, twice a day. So I'm a little OCD. <laughs> yep. Well, thank you for coming here and answering our questions. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I enjoyed it very much. You guys are great. Hi, I'm Daniel, and I'm here with Cameron. And we're going to have a little chat about the school and its class. So, what kind of Can you tell me what your favorite thing you did in the field class? Well, counting. Counting? That's, that's a good one. Can you tell me why you like the field so much? Because she's beautiful and she's pretty. That's very good. And then I just have one last question for you. Um, what have you liked learning the most? Um, probably the counting paths. That's good. That's very good. Well, thank you, Cameron. It was mm -hmm. nice to talk to you. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, um, we just finished our little chat with Cameron, but now I'm talking with Tristan. Okay, and we're we'll just going to have another chat with Miss Fioli. So, Tristan, what's your favorite thing you've done with Miss Fioli? Um, doing math. Math? Yeah, that's, that's a good one. I like math too. Um, can you tell me why you like Miss Fioli Pickett so much? Because she looks beautiful and, and she's my favorite teacher. That's, that's good, that's good. And then, I just have one more question for you, Tristan. Um, just, can you tell me, like, what what do you want to do this year? Like, what do you want to learn? Hmm. Numbers. Numbers. And really letters. Like that. Really like that? That's good. That's very good. Well, thank you for talking with me, Tristan. It was a fantastic time. And um, but we had this chat, so... Hi, my name is Calissa Alba. I'm with the Tiny Spotlight team, and today I'm interviewing... Tyree Pierre-Lewis. What makes Miss Fioli's class so exciting? Pro probably the way she teaches the class, probably the stuff she does, like the work. She, she, would, she would make the work fun, to be honest, if I'm not joking. She would make the work fun. Like, you know how now the teachers make it sound like a lot? But like, in her class, it was like, oh, we're just coloring. It sounded like something like that. So, what's one thing that you like about Miss Feely? Think can I say everything? Well, no, <laughs> I'm just 
Um, probably, probably, probably the way she teaches the class, probably her energy and her positivity, and um, probably like her vibe, stuff like that. Yeah. And today we're interviewing Kate Stoddard. So, what's one thing that you liked about Miss Feely? I liked like her energy and like her vibes in the class. It was like nice. It always like it was exciting. What was one thing that Miss Feely did to make your class time better? Mm. Well, she had like. Like, I don't know, like her energy, it was just nice. She like always like excite, like she made things more exciting mm -hmm. and like everything more like fun. She made it sound, like schoolwork isn't that exciting, but she made schoolwork sound like really fun. So, I don't know. Well, thank you for your time today to interview. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jill Bradley and today I'm here with Ms. Peluso. What made you want to become a teacher? I have wanted to become a teacher since I was a little kid. Um, my mom was a teacher here in Methuen for over 34 years. Uh, she taught at the Asher School when they had smaller schools. And I went to a uh, Catholic school. And when I had Catholic days off, I would go with her to school and I would sit with her behind her teacher desk and I would watch her teaching and I just thought it was the coolest thing. I watched kids just mesmerized by her and I just thought it was just the best profession. My other um, accomplishment is that I'm almost done writing my first book. What is your book about? My book is about, it's about me, it's about my life. Um, it's a lot of lessons learned. I'm not going to give a lot of it away because it's um, it, it's it's not officially completed yet, but it's about how how when you grow up, you learn about life maybe um, the hard way and how people sometimes mm, give it to you on the silver spoon and it doesn't always happen that way. What is one piece of advice you'd like to give the students watching? Never give up. You have to, you have to keep trying. You have to try to remember that if you don't believe in yourself, no one else is gonna believe in you. I, can I, can I say all my, all my little cards I've always saved from everybody? Yes. I want to share that. So I just wanted to say one thing that I went through my um, my drawer because I keep everything that every student has ever given me. I'm a little bit of a clutter rat, I know, but um, I have every card, every single thing every student has given me because I think that these are the most precious gifts that I could ever get from anybody. Thank you for letting me interview you. Thank you. I had a great time. Hi, um, my name is Sierra Smith, and I'm from Spotlight, and I'm going to be interviewing Kevin O'Connell. What was your favorite thing that you did in this course as well? My favorite thing was STEM week. Uh, for a whole week, we did STEM projects where we made filter feeders that caught rice, and we had to like somehow make all the water come out mm -hmm. without spilling any rice. And we also did a bycatch which was pretty fun and I enjoyed that week. It sounds, it sounds fun. What makes me feel so class so exciting? Uh, I think uh, what makes Miss Pluto, Miss Peluso's class so exciting is that she's always like singing directions and happily like acting for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so that like sparks my happiness up because I like enjoying it sounds like it. Manuel and Nancy, what has Miss Peluso done to make your class time better? Well, she always tells stories about her and like what happens in her life. And it's always so funny because at the end we would laugh and sometimes it would take about our whole class time. But it's pretty funny how she always tells um, silly stories about herself. <laughs> sounds like it. What is one thing that you like about Miss Peluso? 
I like how whenever somebody gets a question wrong or is sad, she would do something to make them laugh and make them feel better. Like if I if she, um I got a question wrong, she would um always say like mistakes help you learn and next time you can try again to be better at it. Do you think that's great advice to say to someone in the future? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for your time. That was awesome. Thank you. Kill it, kill it, crush it.